Hi, this is Joe. Welcome to Eat the Planet. Uh, last video I did was a video on how to identify poison sumac. This time I'm doing a video on how to identify poison ivy. So, unlike poison sumac, poison ivy is everywhere. Poison sumac is hardly seen, and everybody thinks they've seen it and come in contact with it. Whereas poison ivy is the opposite. Poison ivy is everywhere. Often people do come in contact with it, and they don't think it's poison ivy, and they blame it on poison sumac usually because they saw a tree of heaven which looks like poison sumac nearby um, so there's a lot of misidentification going on there but i'm going to show you how to identify poison ivy and you most people can walk around their yard and find some poison ivy at least here on the east coast uh, this video is only going to focus on the eastern poison ivy there's also an eastern or an atlantic poison oak which is rare over here and then there's a western poison oak, which is very common. There's also a western poison ivy. So this video about eastern poison ivy may also apply to western poison ivy, but I'm just not as familiar with the western variety, so there might be some slight differences. The important thing to know about poison ivy, and this is why people often uh, misidentify it or don't see it, is it can have extremely variable leaf shapes. You can have uh, it, it always has smooth margins, which I'll show you in a few minutes, but you can have large teeth on the leaves, large enough it even starts to look like a leaf lobe. You can have um, greenish leaves, you can have reddish leaves, you can have shiny leaves, you can have dull leaves. There's a lot of variation, so I'm going to try to put up a lot of photos and videos of different uh, poison ivy leaves and what differences you might see. So this is a small poison ivy leaf. This will give you the basics. Uh, identification features to identify poison ivy. You've probably often heard, it uh, leaves a three, let it be. So there's three leaflets in a poison ivy leaf. Now there is one exception, which I'll tell you about later. Um, but you can see here, the leaf margin, the edge of the leaf, is smooth. There's not a bunch of small serrations. People often misidentify blackberries and raspberries with poison ivy leaves, but those have serrations on the leaves, which I'll also show you in a few minutes. You can start to see on poison ivy, which is common, there's a few big uh, teeth on the leaf margin. And they can be of varying sizes and locations. So I'll show you another couple leaves. Actually, here's one right here. You can see this leaf serration here. That's one small leaf serration. Again, they're not all the way up and down the margin, but a lot of times you'll get one big one or a few big ones. Here's another one. Look at this. On this leaf on the left, you could see the leaf serrations. And this might throw you off. You might think that's not poison ivy because the shape is so weird down there. It's only a few leaf serrations on one side of the leaf, but not on the other side of the leaf. Again, that's common with poison ivy. When you're identifying the leaf, another real important thing um, is that you need to be able to identify a compound leaf and not just three leaves close to each other. With poison ivy, these are all compound leaves. That means these three leaflets are all part of one leaf. It's not three separate leaves. The way you can tell that is if you look right at the leaf junction, um, you can see that it's all part of one leaf and the center line the center line here, that's the leaf vein. And at the base of these leaves, that's where you can see it's connected to the stem. It's clear that that, that, that stem is not part of the same leaf. Uh, but up here, you can see that these three are part of the same leaf. There's no real separation where they connect to the leaf. And it's hard to see, but with a trained eye, you can see that at the base of the leaf, of the true leaf where it connects to the stem, uh, there's a bud there. It's hard to show on the video, but that's the, the real way to identify if something's a leaf is that there's a bud at the base. There's another small poison ivy leaf down there, and this will give me the opportunity to show you the leaf lookalikes. There's a few things that are very commonly mistaken for poison ivy, and they all grow in the same area. So I'm going to move right over here, and you can see this has three leaves, uh, three leaflets. It's also a true compound leaf of three. And this is a dewberry. That's a type of blackberry. 
Different types of blackberries and raspberries will often look like this, and people think that's poison ivy. The big distinction is that the, this has true leaf serrations around the outside, small leaf serrations on the leaf margin right here. All those little leaf serrations should tell you it's not poison ivy. Because again, poison ivy just has a smooth leaf margin with some teeth on it, potentially. This is a poison ivy leaf next to a Virginia creeper. Virginia creeper is uh, very commonly mistaken for poison ivy, even though it's got five leaflets. But you can see the shape of that leaf and the shape of this poison ivy leaf. So they do have a similar shape. And then there's another poison ivy leaf down there underneath the Virginia creeper. They grow in the same area, and they're both, both climbing vines that can grow up trees. What will happen a lot of times is the Virginia creeper loses a couple leaves. It looks like that. And that's why it's often mistaken for poison ivy. So I mentioned that there's one exception to the three-leaved poison ivy rule, and that is that on poisonivy.org, I'm going to put a link down below, claims that they have seen a five-leaved poison ivy cluster. So it wasn't just one mutation, well, it started out as one mutation, but it's an actual patch of poison ivy spreading that's got five leaves instead of three. Um, I mean, it would take a long time for that to become common, you know, hundreds of years or so. But in that area, um, at least, you know, there's one patch where you could misidentify poison ivy using the three-leaf poison ivy rule. They said that this was on the Arlington bike path in Cambridge. So I'm not sure if that's near um, Arlington, near Washington, D.C., or Cambridge, near Massachusetts. If anybody has knows of what the Arlington bike path in Cambridge is, uh, you can please comment on this video. So the next thing is that poison ivy can grow up trees, and it can grow in massive areas. Here is a perfect example of a poison ivy vine growing up a tree. You can see how hairy that vine looks. Now next to that is this vine, which is Virginia creeper. There's a few roots attaching it to the tree, but it's not nearly as hairy as the poison ivy vine here. Another thing to point out is that if you go if you continue following up those leaves coming off the side of the tree are poison ivy leaves coming off the vine. They're not uh, tree branches coming off the tree. So they can stick out pretty far, a few feet. And they're often mistaken for tree branches and they can hit you right in the face. But they're actually poison ivy branches coming off the poison ivy vine. This here is another look-alike. This is not poison ivy, but you will see some of these uh, modified roots grabbing onto the tree. This is a native Virginia creeper. And you'll notice uh, that I mentioned this before because the leaves can also sometimes look like poison ivy, even though these, are, these have five leaflets and not three. But as you move down this, uh, th this vine does start looking a lot more like poison ivy. But it's not quite as hairy as poison ivy typically is. But if you're unsure, just stay back because uh, you don't want to make any mistakes. So to summarize, um, if you're on the East Coast, poison ivy can be anywhere. It's got three leaflets per leaf. It's a true uh, compound leaf. It's not just three leaves that are close to each other. Those three leaves are part of one leaf. Um, it's got smooth margins on the leaflets with irregular teeth that can be large enough to start to look like um, lobes on the leaflets 